Here we have the hydraulic auto bleed down valve. This is an old one that we'll take apart, demonstrate how to disassemble it. You know, one and a quarter inch wrench here, and a seven eighths. That's one and a quarter there. Break that free. And the one inch wrench on the outlet. Take these things apart. Then we have our extraction tool here. And we push it in from the back side where the dust seal is and push the puppet and seal assembly out the other side. And get it freed up and it comes right out. So we have this out now. We'll be putting new in. I just want to clean this body up real well and look down inside the inner bore for any big scrapes or nicks that may be making our high pressure seal or o-ring fail early. And this is our hydraulic portion of the valve. And the way we know if these seals need to be replaced is we'll get some oil coming out of this weep hole on the the high pressure side of it also has a weep hole. So if we get water coming out this hole that's closest to the threads, it means that our seal is leaking. If we get water coming out the other end there, it just means that this, or this poppet landing seats in there either has a bad seating surface or it's not tight enough. So we'll set this stuff aside. We're gonna get on the assembly here of the hydraulic auto bleed down. We start off with the hydraulic portion of the valve and we will get the piston and the o-rings for the piston. Now one of them is flat and is cupped on one side for the o-ring to sit in there. So with the piston facing like this on the table with the groove down we want the cupped part of the o-ring looking up at us. So we'll get some hydraulic oil on there. Slide it down over the piston. And we want to make sure that the cup is looking up at us still after we roll it on there. And hydraulic oil on the o-ring. And slide it in. It's going to go into the barrel like so. So the oil will be coming from this side. So we need to make sure that the backup ring is over here. So next, we have a piston insert. And this is a, a harder steel so that when the poppet rides on it, it doesn't wear out as quickly. I want to put some Parker lube on there. And that's going to hold it in for us while we're assembling. And then also I like to just get some Parker Lube and wipe on this whole piston here on the O-rings and everything. And we slide it in with the insert going down away from us. Let's push it in with our thumb. Next we have these adapter fittings. And we'll lube the O-rings on those. And screw them into the hydraulic housing. And we we'll want to tighten these down with a wrench as well. One and a quarter. Next, we'll go to the high pressure side of our bleed down valve. This is the high pressure housing here. 
and we want to start 